basket. Wait. There's a computer. Good thing we're in a no wait zone. This is a heavy traffic, boating traffic area. Boats are coming through here wide open and we're getting some some uh, wakes that are rocking our boat like you wouldn't believe. side of us. Thanks guys. I don't have any problem people going fast. I know most of them don't know what it does to our vessels. Be a little courteous to, for other boaters. Hey, I wanted to share something with you. It's a boat hack. What do you call it? Life hack? Life hack. So right there, I got this. It's a life hack for cruising on the boat. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put a beam bridle on. We're actually gonna run our bridle onto the beam of the boat, and we're gonna turn this entire boat so that when the, when the uh, traffic is coming through here, that we're actually gonna catch the waves on the bow or off the stern and not get this rolling motion. So, Hold on, I'm gonna show you how to set that up. I'm gonna take one of my dock lines. This is a short one, probably 20 feet. I'm gonna take off this bridle from this side. I'm gonna slide it through like this. Put my tag in through. And it's gonna be tied up like that. Then I'm gonna put it back on the cleats. With a little bit of slack in it. Now we're going to do the same thing on the starboard side, but this one has all the tension on it here. Taking the one off the starboard side, same setup. This dock line that I have here is uh, 30 feet. And you're going to set this up depending on how your boat is. You got a 60 foot boat, put a 60 foot dock line on it. Now, I'm going to take this dock line and run it all the way to the stern of my boat. All right, I want you to see how the boat turns when I tighten up on this lean bridle. degrees. So there we have it guys. We have the bridle tied to this uh, port bow and port stern. And I've got the chain coming straight off at a 90 degree on the beam. Now the cool thing about this setup is you can uh, adjust it. You can put out five feet in the front um, and have the beat have it come at a quarter beam and twist the boat just a quarter of the turn instead of uh, 90 degrees you can have it 45 hey but I hope this hack work helps you out 
if you never tried it, do a bean bridle. Uh, you won't regret it, and it's the easiest thing to do. Also, and as you can see, guys, we are now 90 degrees turned on the beam facing that land. So this is after a bow had just went by. You can see the swells in there. If we were sitting on the beam, that would have been rough. Well, I didn't get enough film, but a boat just went by. And the wake is coming in here now, but it's coming straight off our stern. And we knocked down our rockings from side to side. Wanted to share with you, but look, if you can see it, everybody's pointed that way. Uh, due to the current and we're sitting sideways compared to that so that's the advantage of the beam bridle man it really slows down this rocking uh, make it a little easier and keep the wife off your back excuse me uh, there's law enforcement here's another boat coming by just wanted to share it with you how fast they go by and how close so if we were sitting uh, on a regular bridle right off the bow this would rock us from side to side Enough to start moving stuff on inside around. And there we go. Let's keep our rocking to a minimal. Hey, if you haven't seen our video on our canopy, how to drop, how to beat the summer heat. They drop the temperature in the boat by 10 degrees. And you see who's hiding out in here, chilling out, cooling off. And yesterday it's 102, and today it's like in late high 80s, so that's a lot better.